Hey guys. Ooh, I'm all sweaty and I've been trying to get some work done because we went from 100 degree weather and it's like someone flipped a switch. All of a sudden we went down to the 40s one night and 60s the next day and it was like holy cow it's cold now. And for some of you you're going that's not cold. Well when you're used to 100 and plus heat indexes every day it's 60s cold. That's half the temperature. So, uh, the point of this video, anyhow, is I need to move. Bo is staring at me and he's going to start barking. And I don't want him to start barking. And I'm trying not to step on Crossbeak who keeps trying to run under my feet. So, hopefully this will be alright. Um, somebody asked me, and this is the point of the video here. Um, you've been there three years. You, you haven't been able to get anything done, uh, you've been sick, you haven't, you know, just one thing after another going wrong, why don't you quit? Why don't you give up? You know, how do you deal with all the frustration of this? And those are good questions. Um, one of the ways that I deal with it is I try not to focus on the negatives. You know, for instance, okay, yeah, hey, got cancer, but it's not a cancer that metastasized through the body. It is a localized cancer, um, and yeah, there have been a couple of deaths from it, but they either didn't go in when they thought something was wrong, or... Um, when they first discovered this type of tumor they didn't know that you needed long-term scans and after they thought one she was young I think she was 20s or 30s once they stopped her scans at two years and it came back at year four by the time she went back in it had gone up into her brain um, both deaths it had already gone into the brain by the time they it was discovered so you know I was blessed in that because, or I should not in their deaths, but in getting it found before it got to that point, because they weren't looking for that. They were doing a scan for this tumor here, and during this scan, they happened to see that one. So, if this, t if I had not mentioned that I had a lump behind my ear after I had gotten these two done, they would have, um, I never would have seen it. I, they never would have seen it. I never would have known it was there. I have allergies, so I always assumed that it was just my allergies acting up. So, to me, that it was found is a blessing. It's a positive. And that's what I try to focus on, are the positives. Have I not been able to get the horse shelter? This horse shelter is a big bone of contention because we have been trying to build one for a year. A year. And it's a, a one thing after another. Either, either one of us was sick, it's usually me. Um, finances weren't there to get the, the materials or um, just things going wrong. For instance, the last three times we've tried to go build this horse shelter, we need to put the poles into the ground because of the winds we get. Um, we had a temporary shelter that the wind picked up and carried about 500 feet down our property. And it was attached to T posts in the ground. Obviously they didn't hold. Um, one of those, we thought it was broken and we discovered that it may not be. So we're gonna pull it upright because it's literally upside down and use mobile home augers and see if that holds it. At least that'll give us something for somebody to get under. Um, the last two times we went to work on that horse shelter, the first time, in the last three times, the first time, if that any, makes any sense, there was a wasp nest in it. It's a two-man auger, so it needs both of us. A one-man auger will not get through this clay. So we sprayed the wasp nest. We try not to do that because wasps are pollinators as well. Um, but 
we needed the auger and we went back a few days later the next time my son was off because I said it's a two-man auger and we discovered another set of wasps different different type had built their nest in it sprayed it again finally what three days ago we're like okay we're getting this done we are getting this done we are getting the holes dug we'll put something over them so the horses don't step into them but these holes are getting dug the auger cable broke that's how it's been going for over a year so how do I deal with that frustration one I take it one day at a time I mean you have to you can't just say okay we're getting this done this week because you never know what's going to happen you can plan to get it done, you can try to get it done, but you cannot be 100% positive you're getting it done. So, when you get hit constantly with these frustrations, you have to look at the positive side of things. Like, as I said, I think I said, with the cancer. It's a localized, it doesn't metastasize through the rest of my body. So, that's a plus that's a blessing um i have a roof over my head i could be homeless i'm not and it's a camper though some people for some reason think you're homeless if you live in a camper i'm not homeless i have land that my camper is on so you know i i'm finally after waiting for so long for so many years i have my land i have my trying to get going homestead these are positives okay can't build a horse shelter can't get the chicken coop built it's okay it'll happen eventually but if I do find myself getting to the point where it's like oh my gosh I am just err I have hobbies um, I have a side business that I actually stopped for once all this health stuff started um, and that, that's kind of ironic, which it's, I'm an herbalist and I know how I'm supposed to eat and I know how I'm supposed to take care of myself and I don't. So I'm a hypocrite. What can I tell you? <laughs> I love my sugar. I love my carbs. I love my caffeine. <laughs> but had I done that, who knows if this would have showed up, you know, that's one of those things I'm not even going to think about because what ifs are useless it's done it's over with yeah if i had taken care of myself the odds of it showing up m might not have happened it might have happened no idea don't care um you know it's, it's in the past what i can do from this moment forward is to take better care of myself so it doesn't come back um i read you know if you 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 have to have an outlet if you like to read, read. If you like to make things, make things. You need something where you can just block everything from your mind for a little while and just blank out, if you understand what that means. Um, so I do crochet, I knit, I have wool that I, I still need to spin the wool if it's any good, because it's been in my car. Let's not go there. Um, it's just, there's, you have to have some outlet. Some people do yoga, some people meditate, some people play a musical instrument, some read, some um, make things like uh, leather working or blacksmithing or, you know, you just, you just need to find your outlets and you need to be able to just let it go. And nobody sing that song. I have never seen the movie, but I'm sick of the song. <laughs> And that's pretty much it. So, I mean, I, I am stubborn. I am not a quitter. And I am not going to give up. I don't care what's going on with my health or what's going on with the auger or whatever. We'll get it done eventually. But I have got to get my butt in gear because I still have to feed everybody and make sure they all have water and hay. And we have a, another storm coming in. Um, but, yeah. 
find your happy place, basically. I live on mine. And, and yes, it can be frustrating, but this is my happy place. So, you guys have a great day, great night, depending when I get this out on YouTube. And BitChute. I do have an account on both, YouTube and BitChute. So, you know, like, subscribe, share, do all that fun stuff. You know, be a YouTuber. And I'll talk to you guys later. You have a outstanding day. Say hi to my finger.